in Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll be exploring how mindfulness can help us better self-control so we can make choices from a place of clarity. We'll begin by sitting on the floor, a cushion, or in a chair. When you're ready, allow your eyes to close. Soften the muscles behind your eyes. Soften your jaw. And turn your attention to your breathing. Let's take three deep breaths together now. Begin with a big inhale. And hold it in. And a long, full exhale. An even deeper breath in. And pause, holding it and a full exhale. One last full inhale to hold. And exhale, letting go of everything. And let your breath settle into a comfortable pattern. Watch your inhale and exhale come and go. Observe your thoughts come and go with your breath. Notice which thoughts are simply observations. Which thoughts are memories or the imagination? And which thoughts are feelings? Focus on any feelings of desire that arise without fixating on any one in particular. Whether you feel the urge to move, to scratch, to check your phone, acknowledge the desire and see how long it lasts. If you give in and scratch an itch, or open your eyes, that's okay, but notice it and return to your meditation. Keep watching these desires urging you to do this or that for a few minutes in silence. Connect your awareness to the breath again. Slow the breath down just enough that you occasionally can feel the strong desire to inhale or exhale. That the pauses between breaths grow just long enough to become challenging. So that you can feel the desire to take your next inhale or exhale. Observe that part of the mind that can choose whether or not to act on the physical desire to breathe. Continue mindfully playing with the breath and desire for another couple of minutes in silence.
Like the mind is drifted off with a thought or desire, find the inhale and exhale again. Desire is sometimes said to be all that makes up the world. Every action of every living creature is said to be motivated by the desire to eat, the desire to procreate, or the desire to be warmer, cooler, bigger, or faster. Most of us are motivated, at least in part, by the desire for success, companionship, or acknowledgement, maybe without even realizing it. Buddhism teaches that this basic instinct of desire is also what causes us to suffer. Not to say that it is bad to have desires, but that unexamined desires can lead us to act in ways that can cause harm and negative consequences. Unchecked, desire can lead us to make some questionable choices. If we always say whatever we feel and take whatever we want, we may not make many friends or be very happy. So, even while we may have thousands of desires within us, we can learn how to hear those desires without having to listen to what they urge us to do. Our mindfulness practice can help us to notice our desires arise and fade away. Becoming aware of this pattern can allow us to witness our desires without letting them control us. The time between feeling and desire and acting on that feeling may be very short. The longer we can wait between desire and fulfillment, the more agency we can have over our actions. Just as we might train a dog to sit in front of their food bowl and wait for us to say it's okay to eat, we can train our inner aspect of ourselves to wait until we give it the green light to act. When we get comfortable being aware of our desires without acting on them, they can lose their power over us, even if they don't necessarily go away. This practice is not about denying ourselves all the things we want, but sometimes it's enough to be able to resist snacking for an hour so that we don't ruin our appetite for dinner, to hold on to what we want to say until we're in a safe place to speak, or even wait until no one is noticing so we can pick our nose. These are difficult for us to do as children, but as we grow older, we can learn the value of letting an urge pass without acting on it, or at least deferring our enjoyment to a more opportune time. So while desire is universal, and many of our desires aren't going anywhere anytime soon, being able to sit with our desire patiently can help allow us to become aware of them so that they do not have power over us. Mindfulness can guide us to notice that the pursuit of our desires may create many challenges, but this can help us navigate them with care rather than pursuing every urge on autopilot. When we practice mindfulness, our desires can have less influence over us and leave us in the driver's seat of our actions. Come back into your body now. Take one last clearing breath in and hold it and let it out. Then allow your eyes to open. Thank you for showing up for yourself in this practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.